chocolates? Or so the Kidman's chocolates. I didn't even open mine yet. Was... Yeah, no, I was done before we got to the house. He was done before we left the damn store. The first box. <sighs> yeah. Like, I'm, I'm going to nurse this for at least a couple days. At least. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to T3G. My name is Harris Dalibor, and today we are finally back with another movie review. We haven't done one in a while. We've seen a few movies. We just haven't done the reviews. We do apologize about that, but today, as the title says, Suicide Squad. And we are just going to go ahead and say that there are spoilers, even though there might not be, depending on how we'll we go. We'll try to limit it. We'll try but... to limit it, but there might be spoilers, so spoilers, 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 spoilers. All right. We're going to go get into it. I can't go first. Is it cool? Is it I'm right? listen. Go ahead. All right. I'll go first. I'm going to go and start with, is it worth to go see it? I say, yeah. I mean, if you're watching this and you're worried about the reviews and you don't want it to be spoiled, there you go. Go see the movie. I think it's still worth the money to go see it right away. Yeah. If you're watching this don't for some for reason. Don't pay for 3D. I don't think there's a single thing no, in this movie not worth one the 3D. Thing that, I don't think 3D is worth for at least 98% of the movies that come out, so there's no reason to go see this movie. There are great special effects, but nothing worth 3D money. But, without a doubt, go see the movie. Uh, it's worth the regular fee for pre premiere? Pre not matinee. Like, just premiere? Premium, 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 yeah, whatever, times. you know, yeah, you know. It's you not know. matinee price. Not, it, do, it doesn't need to be a matinee price. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go into it. I really don't care to go into full detail on everything. For me, I like the Suicide Squad in general. Some I know some reviews are out there saying that this, you don't really care for uh, a lot of the, you, really the only ones you care for is Harley Quinn and uh, Deadshot. That's, I don't think that's true. I like all the all of Suicide Squad. I think they're all fun in their own way. I think the only one they had as a throwaway was the um, the, the, the Native American guy. Yeah, the Native American guy, which... He was definitely a throwaway character. He was throwaway. He, he was a throwaway character, but otherwise, everybody else is, I think, excellent. I think everybody in their own way does just... They're there for what they need to be, and it's great overall. It's it's overall a great setup for all the characters. Um, visually, as I mentioned, amazing. I think whoever the visual effects people were behind this, great job overall. Um, you mentioned that there was like a scene at the end. I didn't really notice it, uh, but you said there's a scene at the end with uh, Enchantress. Yeah, the the so there's a scene with the with the villain, the Enchant Enchantress. Which I guess that's kind of the biggest spoiler is that Enchantress is the, is the actual villain. Because I didn't expect that. I actually expected them to go. The I, saw, of I saw. Uh, I saw. I saw a non-spoiler review that, that was kind of like this, where they told you that much. Right. Uh, but I mean, honestly, the first time you see her on screen, and I mean, she 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 does something in that scene where I'm like, I see exactly why. Like, I wouldn't have even had to know ahead of time that she was gonna be the villain. Sure. That scene, I was like, I know where this is going. Right. Right. Right, right. away. Like. Right. I think the without kind of getting into a lot of it, I think just there was this one scene at the end where it was clear, like she was clearly wearing a green, you know, a green screen suit or whatever. And just, they animated her really like just the body was moving really weird and definitely like independent of the face. Right. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I think the graphics were pretty good. A little too much slow-mo maybe, but otherwise <laughs> we'll, solid. we'll get into that in just a moment. Uh, but yeah, overall I think visually it's amazing. Um, let's go into, the director slash writer. Um, the directing of this movie was at best good. And from what I understand, this director, uh, I haven't watched Fury because I think that was his other movie and I'm not sure a few other things that he might have done. I'm sure I watched them, but I don't remember what he actually directed specifically. I'm going to say this, he's the director and the writer for this movie. Maybe they should have had somebody go over the writing part. Um, I feel like maybe he took on a little too much for this movie. There are certain things in this movie that happened that I think the movie could have done without and been a lot better movie. I enjoyed the movie. It could have been a lot better. There's, there's moments where they try to make you feel for these people and I don't care to feel feel for bad guys trying to do a being forced to do something good i don't need to feel for them in that aspect what i need to know is they're badasses and they're 
going to be forced to do something good because they're badasses. And that's all I need. I don't need to have any but kind of emotional that, feels with them. But to that, I will say that you, I, I feel, at least in this scenario, you're not expecting that there are redeeming qualities in everyone. Yeah. I think the message they're trying to get across is that there is good within people who are bad. I d that's fine. I don't care in this universe. I don't. That's fine if you want to make that a thing for like more. Uh, like so you don't like depth in your comic book movies. I don't need that depth in in my villain comic book movies. Correct. Like I don't need to know that. Uh, uh, we have a lot of depth with Loki. I think we have a lot of information on Loki, and Loki's definitely a villain. We do. I agree. I think you I care agree. about Loki in a lot of sequences. I don't. Wouldn't say that I care. I think I just find you feel him, you I, feel for him in certain situations. No, I don't feel for Loki at all. I find him fun, but I don't feel anything for him. I think you. Maybe I find a him fun. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say I'm a sociopath. I just don't care for a villain. I get they need backstories. There's seven villains. I don't need seven villain backstories. We didn't have seven backstories. We, we, we got had almost we got some, all of We them. got some quick intros. We got to find out who everybody was right at the beginning. Right. They kind of went over it. I thought in an interesting way. Uh, I would. I'm glad they did it as like a story, and then they gave us a visual to go with the story, True. as opposed to like just seeing every time they got right. captured. I thought that would have been dumb. So I'm glad that they framed it in, in kind of uh, uh, Amanda Waller telling that story. But otherwise, I think giving us that little bit at the beginning was plenty. I don't necessarily feel like... I mean, they definitely... What people are saying is that you care mostly about Deadshot and Harley. It's because they spent the most time with they their do spend, they do, and they spent yes, the most they time do with just telling their tales. They do spend a lot on their stories. The and entire and subplot of the movie is Harley. That's true, yeah, that's yeah, true, but I mean, that's because they wanted to bring in Joker, and that was a good way of doing it. Um, it was a way. <laughs> and I guess I can go straight from there, but as I said, I, I don't care for how much emotional aspect of the villains there was. There, It didn't need to be there. I didn't personally care. Others might disagree. That's an opinion of mine. Uh, I think the movie would have been better if there wasn't the whole emotional stuff. And one specific moment that you'll notice, because I wanted to say the pacing was good on this movie until you get to the bar scene and then it was a scene. And then like, yeah, it was like a bond bonding it, scene and it really, I... It was a bonding sequence. They didn't need to bond. They're bad guys being forced to do good things. I don't need them to bond. I just want them to go be bad guys trying to do good things because they're being forced to do it. I, I, personally, see, I, I think I, I, if I think... you watch the animated movie, Ar Assault on Arkham, that is a better showing of this movie. Because in there, the bad guys being forced to do good things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you with your own argument, sir. This is a different universe. This is a different This is a different universe. I'm not saying, I'm not saying like it should have been that, like, that for that, but I'm That's saying... That's in fact exactly what you said as soon as the movie was done. Okay, you said it let me rephrase that. that. I'm <laughs> saying, yes, in, in the sense of that's how it should have been done... Like, not for fucking exactly like, oh, that's the, that's the story should have been told, no. But that's how it should have been done. I don't care for their backstories. I just want them to be bad guys being forced to do good things. But you know what, but, bad that, guys but then, everybody, but then everybody's argument, maybe not yours, but then everybody's argument would have been that there was no backstory and there was no No, there I was agree, no but, now, the but now they're, they're bitching about that anyways, even though there was, and that's, that's for me, what well, I think, the I think what... People are mean as far as depth now is there's no theme. There's no oh, sure. overreaching kind of depth to it. I think as far as like going in-depth on characters, I think they definitely did that. Like I said, the opening, kind of telling everybody's little stories, kind of how they got caught and how they got these people. Uh, the little peppers of Batman, the Flash, which I thought was excellent. I thought that was probably the best thing about this movie is the little scene where Flash is... And it, and it is a flashback. Up, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's a flashback. I will say that it is a flashback. It's not Flash being in the movie. It's just a flashback of something, uh, kind of telling you a backstory of one of the villains, and so that's why Flash is shown. But it was a great moment. Like it. It just 
seeing that on screen for because we've never seen Flash fully. Not like that. Not 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 in the suit. Not not like that. So to see not him, for that long. Yeah, and not for that long. So to see JLA, him, like, see I was like. like Primo. Primo yeah, worked I thought on that, that was, part. I thought that was a great scene. Uh, I think all the J, the JLA like little fits in, fit ins here yeah. was way better than in Batman v Superman. I th I think <laughs> the the fit ins for JLA was definitely really good here. Yeah, because yeah. even like then you have the scene with with, with Bruce Wayne at the end, which was freaking awesome. I mean, you just have these little little scenes like you have Batman capturing um, uh, Deadshot, you have Batman capturing Joker and Harley. Uh, well, Harley, just definitely really, really cool Batman add-ons. Then you have the Flash. Then you have—I yeah, mean, just I think the way they put it into the universe was probably the absolute best way you could have done it. It's set after Batman v Superman. It's a fresh memory for right. us. The reason that she creates Task Force X, which that's what they do call it. I actually was expecting them to call the movie that because I didn't thought I didn't think Suicide Squad was going to work as a title right. because like Suicide's kind of a. Yeah, you kind of hear touchy you, subject. the su the Suicide Squad. You only hear that once, and that's from Deadshot. Yeah, and, and which is the scene from the trailer. Where and said, that's so it. what? We're some kind of Suicide Squad. And that's it. They don't call them. That's not the team's name. That's not who they yeah, are. Yeah, they that's do not, call them Task Force X, yeah. and I think they 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 frame that the same way they did in the comics. You know, go the government refers to them as Task Force X. They really kind of internalize as the Suicide Squad. Right. Um. And I thought, the, like I said, it's set after Batman v Superman. You know, Superman's dead. Now they're like, well, what if the next Superman's a bad guy? What right. if the next Superman doesn't share our values? That we need some sort of, some sort of deterrent, some sort of plan, contingency, whatever. And Amanda Waller, being a career manipulator, comes up with a way to manipulate people and doing the stuff for her. And I thought that whole setup was was very true to the comics. Very, I thought I think Viola Davis just murdered that role. I think she killed it. It was excellent. So anyway, I think I, I think Viola Davis really just did an excellent job as uh, as Amanda Waller. I think she just had a like villainous sense about her, and I think she couldn't have possibly done a better job. I will say this: I think everybody, well, not not everybody. I think a lot of people did as good of a job as it could be done with the writing that was in this movie. Uh, I think it falls a lot on the writing on this movie, on the script and the lines and everything, and uh, I think everybody did a job they could do with, with what was available. I think um, somebody should have definitely gone in and uh, maybe went over the writing on this. That's, that's my thing. I mean, we had, what, two, three writers for Batman Me Superman? From what I understand, he was the only writer. Um, should probably have tossed somebody else in. I'm not saying he wasn't passionate and trying to do his best job. I'm just saying it, it might have needed somebody else to look. look it it at definitely it. could have used another uh, another once over at least some polish. You just you had some stuff that wasn't necessary. Not you necessary. Had some lines. stuff that was a little overdone. Right. Some stuff that was underdone. Yeah. Just like lackluster performance. Not from anybody of the main cast, but you had some. <laughs> Just like extra scenes and like some of the like establishing scenes. Ah! My wife thinks it's one of her top five movies of the comic book genre. I would and call I, that insanity. I think she's crazy. I mean, there's been a lot of comic book movies and I would say that's pure insanity. I think you can pick five Marvel movies to beat it in a heartbeat. Wow. Anyway. Easily. Anyway, so yeah, the, the writing definitely could have used the polish. Yeah. You know, you had some scenes where... Some you know, editing, too. Yeah, the editing. Well, I think, from what I understand, from what I've heard, there was some, some studio intervention after the edit was done. Which is... Which is understandable. It is, it, is, and it is what it is. That's the thing that happens in Hollywood. Uh, but I'm hoping we get kind of a, a rough cut like we did with the Batman v Superman. Like, we get a... Extend, Something. I mean... Extended or a recut or whatever. I, definitely a recut. Definitely a recut. A direct. Give me a director's cut. You know what? Give, I, you give know me what a director's I, cut of every I'm gonna, movie. I'm going to be one of those people that when this movie comes out, I'm going to recut it and I'm, I'm going to show you how much better it can be Dang. without a lot of the stuff. Uh, we're going to keep it with that because now it's on the internet. Yeah, it's on the internet. I'm doing it. I'm doing <laughs> it. That's that's the thing I want to... Because I want to. As soon as I walked out, I was like, I'd love to recut this and, and show you how much less is not needed. <laughs> um, I think ultimately... It's a really good movie. Visually, it's really good. Uh, I had fun with uh, villains. 
comedy was great. Yeah. It, the oh my, the yeah. stuff you saw in the trailer was not all the comedy. No. People were saying that everything you saw in the trailer was everything that was going to be in the movie. That is not true. There's a lot of it. And no, the reshoots didn't include reshooting comedy scenes. So there's a lot of comedy in this and it worked really well. Yeah. I think everybody did a really, really good job. I Now... Saying that I enjoyed all the villains and that they all worked really well in the movie and that it wasn't just focused on just two villains, I do want to say that I really did enjoy Harley especially, even though she has a few moments where I don't care for them, and then also Deadshot, because I think, obviously, I mean, it's Will Smith. I mean, a lot of I think Will Smith does a great there. job with, with the material and he's given. And actually, I, whew, man, uh, I do also want to say uh, Jay Courtney. Uh, as Boomerang, Jack, I thought, Courtney. Uh, Jack Courtney. Uh, I thought he did a great job. I, I liked I think, his comedy. I um, think he played. A, I think he played a maniacal drunk pretty well. Yeah. I can't even say that he played Captain Boomerang. Not. In, I mean, I don't. I don't. Not know in really any Captain portrayal Boomerang that I've ever seen. Sense. I mean, like Captain Boomerang was in was in Assault on Arkham, and that's not what he was like. He's a little more. He's a little more put together. He's not quite that uh that's drunk here's, and mindless. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. He was kind of just. Yeah, I think he was just a throw in. They wanted to throw in another villain. I think they wanted to throw in that flash scene. You just here's, had. Here's a lot what of, I. Here's what I, I want to say on that though. That's funny because this boomerang for me will stick out where that one in Ark. I completely forgot he was in that. So that shows you how much I care for that one compared to this one. I mean, yeah, you're gonna remember the the crazy drunk, the fun more guy. often than the not. Fun, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna, fun, I'm gonna sure. remember the fun. I thought it was fun. <laughs> I liked his comedy. I laughed every time he was. He had a comical moment. Like none of it was. Listen, I, I, I think forced. he did a good job. I think um, I would have preferred a little more straight headed Captain Boomerang. I think Captain Boomerang's a little more insidious than that because like they just made him out to be a bank robber like a jewel thief and i mean from what we yeah from i mean what he we is saw, he is one of the more, lighter rogues but like right. I, I think there was more potential to that character and, and kind of painting i think him, it was a lot of painting him as a drug uh, not a drug addict but, uh, but as a drunk uh right off the bat i think is maybe not necessarily the best move but you know you don't know what plans they have for everybody they might not even use him in the flash movies or whatever or and they might fine. as a throwaway character. And that's that's true. Yeah, you might need a, a guy who gets caught right at the beginning to show right. Flash of speed. Yeah, you might just you might just need that. Yeah. Um, which which I like the fact that they're not gonna do they're not re almost certainly they're not gonna show us a Flash origin movie, which I think is excellent because we've seen Flash now four times, three times, in like different sequences, and in Justice League we're gonna see Flash. I'll be I don't extremely think I don't, happy if they don't show us a Flash origins. Yeah, or I think, if they I think do they're going to do or a Flash movie do, and they might like do a flashback, like a two-minute thing. I was going to say, or if they follow the formula of Hulk and now Batman v Superman, just do it in the credits. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't need that much of a Flash story to tell me that he got his powers by getting struck by uh, lightning while being right. around chemicals and then... At, it's on like, CW. You yeah, should have seen it by now. I don't, I don't need You should have seen it by now. Uh, I think I think Jack Courtney did an okay job. I think, but Will Smith did a good job with the material he was with given. the material that he was given. He I did think a great job, I think yeah. Margot Robbie's probably the runaway star of this movie. I think aside from Viola Davis, I think Viola Davis did yeah. a, a just a brilliant job with Amanda Waller. I think I think uh, Margot Robbie did a great job with. with she did. Harley. She really did. I think there she, were scenes where I'm like, it, I do it's wanna, like it's I also the one Harley yeah. from the cartoon. Yeah. Just there were scenes where yeah. you're just like, man, like I'm lost. I I'm agree hundred percent. But and then I you do... also had these scenes where she was a little too emotional. Just like a little too a little too emotional. A little too yeah. like human emotional. Yeah. Like to me, Harley's always been a very emotional character. But psycho, like, but like not yeah, human. kind of like a <laughs> she fixates on things and like she'll fixate on a friendship. Like right. she fixates on on Ivy in the cartoons and in the comics. She fixates on the Joker, obviously that's kind of the whole thing. Right. But, but not this kind but of But once emotion. she strikes out on her like... own, like she doesn't really have these emotional moments. She she kind of plays people. She's like a real great chaos element. Right. And I think it's going to be interesting how they do a, a solo movie because that's the first. I'm solo excited movie for a solo movie for her, to be honest. I well, really you're gonna like, obviously it's gonna be Harley and Joker. Yeah, sure. I mean, but I'm okay. I with hope that. I hope they let her strike out on her own. Though. I hope so too, I because I think because the be whole very attachment well. to Joker. I mean, you can see in this movie most of the time she's not. Honestly, in I hope Joker's it's not. Presence. Honestly, I hope it's not Harley and Joker. I hope it's uh, Harley and Ivy. Yeah, they could definitely bring in Ivy for that. I think that might bring up the cost a little bit with the, the visuals, but 
I mean, I don't. Care. I mean, the visuals are pretty damn good in this one, and there was quite a bit of it. So yeah, yeah that's true. So that's I true. mean, whatever you got to do for Ivy, I'm sure they basically happen. be the same visuals, yeah. like long tendril exactly. things. Yeah. You just recycle the visuals, repaint them. I, I <laughs> one final ultimate thing that I want to talk about that I've been holding till the end is the disappointment of this movie. Yeah. And I'm gonna say it, and it's not because of Heath Ledger, but this was a sad excuse for Joker. Lies. Uh, no. I, she I, doesn't know what she's talking about. I cannot believe, out of all the Jokers that we've had, it's funny, because it's like, it's the reverse, right? Out of all the Jokers that we've had, this is the worst one. Out of all the Batmans that we have, this was the ba best one. Yeah, I think that the Justice so, League trailer solidifies Batman, Bruce Wayne, I mean, geez. Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne and Batman. Yeah. In the utmost. Yeah, in the absolutely. absolute utmost. So it's it's funny that they kind of went... Uh, you know, and everybody, uh, even all his people that worked with him, everybody said Jared Leto was not Jared Leto until the movie was done. He was the Joker. And I was like, that's, that's awesome. Fine. I'm that's excited fine. for that. But I think he should have been Jared Leto to be I feel, the Joker. I honestly feel like he, had, he has more of a creepy vibe when he does his interviews... Than then when he movie. yeah in this movie I didn't really feel he he was creepy. He was terrifying. No, Not you're at all. insane, dude. No, no, you know who was terrifying? Amanda Heath Ledger Waller. was terrifying. Heath Ledger was Heath, terrifying. Heath Ledger was like more of a mastermind. Like he he messed with you psychologically. That was, that's what that's the, the Joker. Joker is. I know, but this Joker was just he was, was a mob boss. He reminded dude. me more of, of a mob boss. You're absolutely well, right. Yeah, a mob boss, which is terrifying in and of itself. But he reminded me more of the Jack Nicholson Joker, where he just is. He does what he wants. There's like no, you know, he's uh, compulsive. I think that... Um, I mean, the Joker is compulsive, but I didn't get any I I, any vibes from here I that thought, I watched the Joker on screen. I thought I thought he did an interesting villain character. The only thing I, I liked about it was his laugh. He, do, he did the laugh good. He did a good laugh. I, I, I really never saw the Joker on screen. I saw a guy who might have been, like, inspired by the Joker... Hey, isn't that something <laughs> Gotham is doing? Uh, uh, you know, he uh, must have. You know what this is? This is the he saw future, that video. Right, he this saw is, the video. He was young. He saw the video, became the Joker. He saw the video, with and the this is the future of God. Oh, um, <laughs> no, not to, no, I mean, not to insult what it, the movies or anything like, like that. But this, I think this wasn't coming from a lot of great Jokers. Even uh, you know, we talk Jack Nicholson, we talk Heath Ledger, and I mean, Mark even Hamill is not even. Mark Hamill is like the greatest. Oh yeah, not even talking I mean, vocally, vocally. Vocally, Mark yeah. Hamill is. I'm not even talking. I'm just talking about on screen without voiceover. I'm disappointed. I I don't know how you go from everything that you've had available. Now here's the thing. To me, the Joker has always been more like he's the clown prince of crime, right? And they even called him the clown in this. Right? They she, did. She was assigned to the clown yeah. himself. And I was like, cool, okay. So but I didn't see the clown. But here's the thing. If this guy, and tell me tell me, I'm wrong here. If this guy pointed a gun at you, like fucking dark music, you're about to get killed, and he pulls the trigger and it just comes out and says bang, would this guy be the guy that does that? No. See, I think he could be, but I find him even scarier because the... Joker in the comics that I've seen, like the animated series, he, like, I mean, in the animated series, people didn't die so much. Well, of right? course not. I mean, but, so, but that's the one that I reference the most. Or like, I think even, or you had the people dying from the laughing gas. Right. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of people killed. But by laughing I feel gas. like this Joker is the one where he would pull out the bang, and you'd be like, oh, like that's terrifying, and they'd shoot you anyway. Like he just see, I don't think he would pull out the bang. I don't think he would pull out the bang ever. I don't think this. I think Harley there's, would. There's not. Yeah, I would say Harley definitely would, but I didn't see yeah, this I Joker just, doing the I bang saw at all. This Joker as being incredibly terrifying because you're screwed no matter what. Like the situ like especially the situation where they were in like the strip club and the guy was like, "Oh, like you're lucky because you got like this hot girlfriend." And he's like, "Oh, you want to sleep with her? She's yours." And even she like came onto the guy and then he's like, and then he said no, and it's like, "Oh, so like now you don't want to? What's wrong with her? Like you can't win. You cannot win. You're going to die." Right, but like that's the that's that's to me is not a Joker scene. That to me is just like a a mob a boss, like yeah, a, 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 a mob big boss gangster scene. boss who, who throws his women yeah. around. Like I didn't think 
Like Joker would have never. I think Joker would have never you said, "Hey, Harley, come, come here. Him? You're his now." He would have never said no. that. No, I think if you had Joker, 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 Joker would have had a. Like that, I mean, that's fine. That's listen, fine. listen, different. and then we Can go back to the same it? argument I said earlier. It's a different universe, a different portrayal. I don't it like this It is a different universe. Portrayal. I don't like this portrayal, so I'm it not... It reminded me that scene, though. That, that's been in another movie. I can't remember what it is, but where the, somebody's been like, oh, you want my girlfriend? Oh, you don't want my girlfriend? Like, which is it? You don't I say... Don't... You, say you, say, you say that scene was in another movie? Well, the entire plot device of the, was in several other movies. Well, I, I would like say there might be some recycling going on. That scene that you're talking about was from a mob movie. I'm just trying to remember which mob movie. Which it works. I don't right. know. Right, but that's the thing. They played him. They played him. As not I as always a... argue, the fact with him, right. and now he's using it to me. It is a different universe. But like you just said, just because it is a different universe doesn't mean I have to like this joke. Exactly. I, so, I don't like it. I'm not, not going to watch the movies. Yeah. I'm just going to know that. The Joker is not the thing I'm going to be looking for. I'm going to say that I'm going to say that the Joker is the highest, highest. What 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 do they do when you're at work? They say opportunity for for improvement. I want the, the biggest. The, opportunity. the Joker is going to be the greatest opportunity for improvement here's, in the DC universe here's for me. Two things I want to know about this Joker mm -hmm. is that one, the the Jokers that I am familiar with do not care about anyone but themselves, and even Harley is kind of like a device that they yes. use and manipulate. Absolutely. The whereas, only thing the where, only thing Joker cares about is Batman. Whereas, obviously, are we doing spoilers? Right? Yes. So, yeah. obviously, at the end, he's alive, he survived somehow, but he pushed her out of the plane, and he dove into the chemicals to get her. Like, he seemed like he was just going to leave her. Like, oh, you died for me? All right, I'm leaving. But then he saved her. At least it seemed like. He has a soft spot and for so, Harley, but and she he's... she seems to have one for him as well. She definitely she, yeah, She's obviously. fixated on him. But in this movie, he definitely... He, you can see he has emotions. I think in that scene with the, with so, the knives, which I thought visually was very interesting, but I think in that scene, when he like sent the guy off to do whatever, I think he was crying. Well, but here's the thing. In that scene, when he sat down too, so he has all the knives, but there were baby onesies. So I want to know about that. Why does he have baby onesies? I didn't even notice that. So it was I didn't all in, so he laid down and it was like all the knives and guns or whatever but then in like another kind of it almost was like a spiral sort of yeah. or I guess like a bullseye there were baby onesies Sure So I want to know more about that Bro. Agree Cuz obviously she wants to get married and have kids <laughs> Shut up Anyway I think overall it's a group Good to great movie. I don't want to say great movie because I, I think, don't think great, it's great. great falls into a lot of other things. I think it's not great. I think it's a, a very good movie, near great. Out of out of out of out of ten. Out of ten. I would give this like a seven and a half, maybe eight. Did we review Ant Man? Um, I don't think we did. No, I don't, because we saw it at different times and stuff. Right, right, right. So for me, this falls under the same uh, enjoyment as Ant-Man. That's the word I was looking for, enjoyment. I would say this is about a 7 out of 10 for me. Maybe 7.5. Yeah, I would say 7.5, 8, maybe 8. 8's getting up there, so that's why I, I feel like this is definitely in the C category for Nine. me. Uh, so I would definitely get out of here. It's not, not, not even possible. Nine. Get out. You're saying this is as good as Guardians of the Galaxy. I like, I love Guardians of the Galaxy. So you're saying this is as good because that's what yeah. you're saying. Because nine point nine is literally not even a percentage less than Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy was nine point nine nine. So you're She's literally saying, saying this is second as good. only to Guardians. No, I, I would. So far, I have to see the movies again. I no, no, you but shouldn't have to. It was top five, maybe even top three. Not even top close. Three? Not even close. Madness. If we're talking Iron about Man, all the movies, all Guardians the all the, the comic Galaxy, book movies, not so just the stuff. more, uh, not just more of the current stuff, but like all of the current uh, the movies. No, that, dude, you got Dark Knight. You got you got Dark Knight. You Guardians. got uh, Guardians. You I got. Like Dark Knight. <laughs> That Blade was 2 was outstanding. Watchmen is yes. what I'm... Like, Watchmen, Watchmen, great movie. I love like the extra the sound effects that. we're getting in the background right now. Yeah, this is great. I've got, like, people... It's the middle of the night. i got people walking around the house. So, overall, seven, seven and a half. I would say seven and a half solid. I think for me, it's between seven, seven and a half. I can't say for sure. 
I still had a good time. Just wish it was better. I wish. Um, I think the ultimate. I think, I think I the would, Joker was better. It, it would, I, it would right. Have catapulted exactly. Me. If I wouldn't have even cared about the other stuff if I wasn't so disappointed with the Joker. Agreed. I think if if the Joker resonated with me better, I think everything else would have been minute. Yeah. It would have been like nitpicking. Yeah. But I think because the Joker was just not at all. Where I wanted it to be, or where not, I not what I was expecting. Between, because we had okay. So if you even look at uh, uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman with Joker in there, mm -hmm. that was still a somewhat of a different Joker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So if yeah. that did so well, going a different way, this is gonna trying to feel more like the comics. So why go such a completely different way from that? Yeah, it's it's. Because right. even that being different felt really good for Joker. Was it? Yeah, I think I think if you narrow down the Joker stuff to just those scenes, I think once I saw the whole thing where he says that I'm gonna hurt you really really bad, it wasn't as good as I wanted nope, it to be. Not even close. I was excited when I saw that. In the, when not I saw that close. in the commercial, I was like, "This is gonna be good." Yeah, I wanted more. It was bad. Like it, not bad, but it was disappointing. And then the, like, and even that, and that, that again, that was one of those moments where the writing really could have used some help. Oh yeah, because she's like, I could take it. And I was like, really? That's really? that's yeah, what we're going right? That's that's what. Uh, listen. But that's what I think they're playing on. That is that. I mean, I wanted more. I definitely wanted more. But I like that this one because people were complaining about how, you know, uh, like that one. That one thing that Vanessa posted about how, like, oh, you know, it's supposed to be about uh, domestic uh, abuse. Domestic abuse, which I do agree in some contexts, it very much is. But with this one, it was kind of like he was the catalyst that set her off. She was already messed up. He just she was, her she was, and even the even in the comics, they've explained that she had well, I mean, she even, had experienced some psychosis before right. experiencing the Joker. Yeah. The Joker was just like the next yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm gonna end it there. That's I think thoughts. I think I think that's solid. Still, if you didn't for some reason hear us in the beginning, still go watch the movie. Absolutely, even, even though there are certain things that could yeah. be. Yeah, I, I think it's definitely worth the money. We paid full price, you know, the twelve bucks or whatever. I think it's definitely worth the money. No questions about that. I think we we wanna we wanna feed the Warner Brothers machine so that maybe the next one's gonna be even better. I think I. Listen, as we talked about, I I usually walk well, I in with like low or mid expectations for everything. I have pretty solid expectations for Wonder Woman and Justice League. I do too. I think the Wonder Woman trailers look really, really good. Listen, really I true was, story. I was fully disappointed when I heard the casting for Wonder Woman, but this trailer knocked I think it out she, of the I think part. so far with the one, two lines or whatever she had in Batman v Superman, yeah. I think she had a decent performance. Yeah. I think the visually one, she lines. looks You're like Wonder Woman. Movie now. This isn't Suicide Squad. That's another review. I'm just saying we need to feed the Warner Brothers machine so we can get more movies out of it because I think Wonder Woman's going to be good. I think Justice League is going to be good, and we want to feed them money so they can keep keep more, making more. Like I said, like I said on a comment, Justice League keep, too. I'll keep giving them money so they can keep making these movies for me. That's yeah. right. I want to keep watching comic book movies, and the Absolutely. only way that'll happen is if they make money. If they don't you make money, remember, they won't make. Before money. we started giving money to movies like Blade and X Men. Before that, all we had was like TV movies for Captain America, and if you go back real far, we had a Punisher movie with Dolph Lundgren. And that was a thing. We'll call it there. Appreciate you guys for watching and listening, and we'll see you next time. Later.